What is the most important day of American history? Some would argue it's when we signed the Declaration of Independence or when the North won the Civil War. I think we cannot choose from the most important event in American history. I think we have a lot of them and we can't just choose one singular one to be the most important. Jack Buck talks about one of one of the important like history events of America and that's 9-11. He gave a speech in front of 32,000 people. In his speech, Tribute to America, he addressed what had happened on that day and gave recognition to all the people that we lost. He gave a speech in St. Louis, Missouri at the Birch Memorial Stadium on September 17, 2001. This was only six days after 9-11. No, it was filled with, again, 32,000 people ready to watch some baseball. The background on Jack Buck, or yeah, he was a sports broadcaster. He was very well loved. A lot of people loved him. He did baseball games, football games, just a lot of sports. Over his career, he won various different awards for his talent. During this speech, he was 77 years old and battling a ton of different illnesses, including Parkinson's and diabetes. He also developed a lung cancer and he just had a lot of illnesses with him, which I think like it gives him something to look up, up to because he was battling all this, but he still got up in front of a thousand pe thousands of people and talked about something that he felt was important. After the speech, he died not even a year later, so this is kind of his last <clears throat> hurrah and last like, thing in front of people. The significance to history and purpose. Obviously, we all know 9-11. It's been such a big part of American history. 3,000 people died on this day in like, everything that happened. We all know how tragic it was and how significant it was, but imagine how significant it was six days after it had happened. People, or the people who died were moms and dads, sons and daughters, firefighters and first responders. These are people who didn't deserve to die. America was filled with emotions. People were sad, sad scared, angry, but we were also united. This speech touched on all of these different things and really empowered America. Since this nation was founded under God more than 200 years ago, we have been the bastion of freedom, the light that keeps the free world aglow. We do not covet the possessions of others. We are blessed with the bounty we share. We have rushed to help other nations, anything, anytime, anywhere. War is just not our nature. We won't start, but we will end the fight. If we are involved, we shall be resolved to protect what we know is right. We've been challenged by a cowardly foe who strikes and then hides from our view. With one voice we say we have no choice today. There is only one thing to do. Everyone is saying the same thing and praying that we end these senseless moments we are living. As our fathers did before, we shall win this unwanted war, and our children will enjoy the future we'll be giving. Since this nation... That was his whole speech. Um, it was pretty short, and it was more like a poem, but I think it really touched on a lot of things, and it didn't need to be so long to get the point across. But the significance to this day. We have all sat in classrooms throughout our life and listened to the history of 9-11, but none of us lived through it. We don't know how the world felt after it, and we just 
don't know what the feeling was like. I, I don't know about you guys, but I always thought it was really interesting and wanted to learn more about it. So I would always ask my parents what, what, what happened, what it felt like. They said, obviously, it was really scary and just, like, shocking. But they said, like, after it was, America was a feeling like no other. Like, it was all united and they were really on the same side, which is hard in America because of our politics and the way that we run things. So it's really rare for people to all agree on the same thing. And so I thought that was really, that's one thing that really stood out to me because I would always was like that would be really cool to see everyone just all on the same side and all agreeing with each other especially in america even if it doesn't last very long necessarily um i think this the speech really helped us see that because as you were looking around if you were looking around at all the fans and people normally when you go to a sporting event people are not they're they were not in their jerseys they were not in the like apparel they were all wearing american colors and supporting them. That was really cool. Um, my rhetorical devices. Like I said, the speech is really short, so I think he used a lot of rhetorical devices to help get his point across. Illusion. Since this nation was founded under God more than 200 years ago, that was alluding to the Declaration of Independence and how long our nation has been standing. Ex expletive. Everyone is saying the same thing and praying. That was kind of like emphasizing that everyone was on the same side and supporting the same thing. Uh, alliteration, we have rushed to help other nations anything, anytime, anywhere. That was also like kind of emphasizing that America is good and that we helped people and that these people didn't deserve to die just because other people did not like America. Ethos, pathos, and logos for his ethos. He was in a suit, dressed very professionally. He's older, so like he's wiser. He was a sports broadcaster. People knew him and already trusted him. Pathos, he always said, we are, we are, which also like gives the people that they had something to do with it. Logos, he talked about the history of America and like how long. Why will it endure? It was history and it's a tribute to all the people that got that died, and my will always endure, so I think this speech will too. Thanks for listening to my speech.